Hey guys, it's Mary and I am back again with another video for you guys starting the back to school series that I am having for the next month. So here I am basically going to give you guys a few tips and ideas on what spreads you could do to help you kickstart that back to school season. So here is the professor's corner, or I call it the professor's corner. Um, a lot of bullet journalers will like to use or call it something else, but essentially it's basically a spread where you can write down all of your professors or your teachers, whichever you call them, um, their information like their email, their phone number, their office for their office hours, the hours for their office hours and whatnot. So this spread is really helpful at least for me and I bet it will be really helpful for some of you guys out there. So um, I'm just using a fake teacher and a fake like information um, description just so I can have you guys see what's essentially going to be in there. So you can either put in the um, box up top, you can put either the teacher's or professor's name or you could have um, the name of your course. So I thought that'd be really helpful and you can also color code it so you could, it can help you with your scheduling. Um, and that's the next spread that you guys see here. Um, all the spreads, or not all the spreads, but all the supplies that I will be using, I will put them um, throughout the video and also in the description box so I don't have to reiterate all of that again and I can just explain to you guys the spreads that I am currently um, making and drawing. So here is, like I said, the schedule page where I, um, or you would essentially uh, write down all of the entire day for all the days of the week that you'll be taking class. Normally it would be Monday through Friday. And, um, well, my start time is a is going to be at 7 a.m. And then the end time here is at uh, 9 p.m. This is just a mock um, schedule. So again, not using my real schedule for privacy reasons, etc., etc. Um, but yeah, so these boxes, um, the dimensions for these boxes and basically everything else will be um, popping up in throughout the video and also um, put in this in the description box down below for you guys for your reference um, but yeah so here's basically a two by two box uh, for each individual box and I believe this was 13 um, boxes or 14 boxes I don't remember exactly, but yeah, it'll be in the video somewhere. And I'm also using um, a white um, gel pen. I'm not going to say specifics because I can put that down in the description box. Essentially that is for me to, um, that is, let me rephrase, that is basically used to help me in fixing my mistakes in case I mess up because I totally forgot to buy whiteout. So yeah, that's my alternative. And then here you see me coloring in the uh, color coded schedule that I put on the professor's corner or from the professor's corner page. And yeah, that's how that works. Um, I found these spreads to be very helpful and I actually use these spreads in my daily uh, routine and daily uh, scheduling for my classes. So I hope these spreads help uh, you guys as much as it did me. But yeah, um, I'm going in with just a regular um, pen and I'm switching between uh, pens to make it either darker or thinner. Um, again, we'll mention everything in the description box. Um, and then up next we have the Schoolmaster Calendar. Um, I know a lot of bullet journalers um, like to use the School uh, Master Planner because obviously you have test dates, you have projects, you have um, assignments and readings that are due, important readings maybe. So having it all 
put on one calendar, um, as well as the dates for either financial aids due, FAFSAs due, whatnot. If you guys are not in college yet, don't worry about FAFSA, you don't have to worry about it. Well, I guess unless if you're a senior, then you do, but anyway, beside the point. Um, so I went ahead and gone with a vertical layout spread because um, I find that it has more room for you to um, put more dates down, if that makes sense. I personally did a horizontal layout. I don't know if you guys remember um, my layout for or my school master calendar for August. If you didn't, I'll leave a link to the August uh, plan with me in the cards. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys a, another version, which is basically a vertical spread, which looks so much nicer in my opinion. But that's up to you. Whatever works for you, um, do that. And um, right here is what um, is the most basic of spreads in a bullet journal, the weekly spread. And I designed this with a lot of bullet journalers inspiration in mind. Um, I've seen a lot of bullet journaling videos, I've seen a lot of Pinterest posts, so um, that kind of inspired this type of uh, look. So I went ahead and did a vertical spread for the weekly page with a little bit of a twist. Um, so basically you, the six, seven boxes that are in similar shape and size, uh, that will be the uh, days of the week. And then we have the extra three boxes and um, the first one to the left, bottom left, is the um, weekly goals box and then we have the tracker box in the middle uh, on the left spread and then um, the uh, like what's next or yet yeah, next week out on the side. I think I just flopped those. I don't know. I'm looking at the screen and I see a whole bunch of squiggles so there's that and then I put a little bit of color to pop um, or to make it pop and that is basically it for the um, possible spreads you guys can use for your school year. Uh, we have the master's list, the schedule, the calendar um, set over a period of three pages or set over a span of three pages and then also the weeklies page. But yeah, that is essentially it. I know I kind of rushed into things, um, but I wanted to make it a little bit short and snappy for you guys to be able to go and do your thing for your bullet journal for you to um, help you for the school year. So if you guys liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And also hit that bell icon to notify you for the next videos to come. So that is it. and. I will catch you guys in the next back to school series. Bye.